Welcome back to another episode of Food Finder. Hello. Okay, so before we start today's episode, we just want to say that in light of recent events, we hope that you are healthy and you are safe. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. But don't forget to eat. Yes. What he still said. Need to eat. <laughs> no, today's episode is about steak. Yes. And I was really, really excited. Like when I asked Seth, like, what is today's episode about? And, and then like, steak. yeah, your steak. I was like, oh, steak. But like, I feel like every episode, I'm, I'm like this. I'm always like, oh my god, Everything. laksa. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cool! At least you like food! Okay, okay, fine. So without further ado, let's head on to our first destination. So we're here at Skirt Restaurant at Sentosa. Super far away, yeah. but worth the drive. We're back at Sentosa, but this time we're at W Hotel. They're popular for their skirt steak, which is my favorite. Seth's favorite, by the yes. way. So Seth, please tell us more about the skirt steak. Yep. One thing that Skirt does very well is using the parilla or the grill. Uh, with actual real charcoal, which gives that smoky flavor. They use this apple wood along with regular charcoal to impart more flavors into the smokiness of the meat. So, uh, first this dish. This one is the butcher's cut skirt steak. Yep. It's 89 Erica learned something new <laughs> about the butcher's cut. Why is it called butcher's cut? Because butchers used to keep it for themselves. It's actually not very popular because it's just not as fatty. One important thing is to cut against the grain. Um, so that it's more tender. You can see the outside is very caramelized from the burn and this is not something you can really easily get from a pan. Have you tried it with the puree yet or no? No, I, yeah. I, I'm actually a purist. I like my steak like salt oh, pepper, really? that's it. Yeah. So purist guys, you heard purist. it here first. Wow. Thank you for... Let's go on to <laughs> the other steak. So this is the Tochigi Japanese Wagyu steak, which is A5 grade by the way. It is the highest grade for Japanese Wagyu steak. It's a Wagyu and a ribeye, so it's like a lot, a lot of fat. This steak is $148. Yeah, $148. Like, wow, yeah. it's very tender. Like, I barely used any force like trying to like cut the steak. I think between the two steaks, I actually really like the flavor in the skirt one better. So we are going to rate the entire restaurant as a whole. In general, yeah. Yeah, But I think my favorite steak for skirt is the skirt steak. Yeah, I would rate skirt a 4.5 for long five. 4.5? 4.5. Wow, what is the 0.5 missing? Just for distance, like it's it's just (laughs) pretty far. I like it for the flavor and how well the, the chef has controlled the fire of the grill, it has that like, charred burn flavor which I like. Uh, it's very hard to achieve this like, smokiness. After trying the unique skirt steak, wow, like my life has been changed. Like I, I really like this steak now. So my, my rating would be a 4 out of 5. So we are now done at Skirt Restaurant at W Singapore. We're going to head off to the next steak restaurant. Okay guys, so we're here at Wakanui Grill. So Wakanui is a New Zealand uh, come Japanese fusion-ish kind of concept. Last week. Today we have the ocean beef, 21 days, yeah. dry aged, yeah. bone-in rib eye. Oh yes. my god, you did it! I'm so very, wow. <laughs> so very long And that costs 199. So 199. this is a 1 kg portion which comes with the bone. Ocean beef literally refers to the beef that they use from New Zealand that is grazing on a, a field in front of the ocean. The ocean. They do all their meats dry aged here at Wakanui as well. Even like the lamb is also dry aged, minimally 21 days. So, and the other cut that we're having is the uh, fillet. It's, it's the exactly. Canterbury grass fed fillet. fillet. So for the 250 grams, it's $79. And for the 500 gram, it's $139. Filet mignon is like the softest part uh, of the, the, the cow. It's the softest part of the tenderloin. It's the least exercised part of the animal, which makes yes. it really uh, soft. We should start with the less okay, fatty then. one. So okay, let's okay. do flavors. In Wakanui, they also use the charcoal grill. However, there's still like a second step of smoking the meat and it really gives that, that smoky charred flavour. Before they cut it, yeah. they show you the grilled meat in its yeah. huge oh, portions. This looks way nicer to me though, like when you see the pink and all. I think they want to let you feel comfortable that you know you're getting what you're paying for. <laughs> you gotta weigh it, you bring your own weight. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the uh, rib eye. So Can this we... is the bone-in rib eye. <gasps> it's a lot of butter in the meat, <laughs> very buttery, very tender as well. So in rib eye, the meat is more 
evenly distributed throughout the meat. Other ribeyes, like, it doesn't have the, as much flavour as I have with this one. You it's guys can nice. see. Why? What? Realise what? Uh, what? No, the view is very nice. So we've been here like over an hour and Seth just realised how beautiful the view is. The 1kg ocean beef tastes very, very good. Like, it exceeded my expectations actually. I think like a 4 out of 5. Why not 5 out of 5 would be because of the filet mignon just fell short. I'm gonna agree on a 4 as well. Mainly the uh, 1kg bone-in rib eye was very well done. I love the uh, extra flavours that's inside. Usually rib eye is just like fat, 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 but this one actually has like a bit more depth to the flavour. Filet mignon, again, a bit dry on the outside, but like the inside is very, very tender. I quite like the whole ambience, the steaks and all. So I, I give this a 4.5. Alright everybody, we're done here. So let's head on over to the next place. So we're here at Hoover's. Hoover. Butchery at Dempsey's, a family-owned establishment. And the cool thing about it is really all the fresh meats and produce that they bring in. That you can actually go to the market to select the steak or select the meat that you want, uh, pay a small surcharge and they'll cook it for you at the bistro. So here we have the Australian Angus Flat Iron Steak, 200 days green fed, yes. which is $19. And also this is the Paris butter, which they also sell over here. And on this side, we have the US Prime Corn Fed Sirloin Steak, which is $38. This one is about 200 grams and this one is about 250 grams. Right, so this is the flat iron steak, which is uh, basically from the shoulder cut. These two uh, steaks are available all day. They do have their own preset menus as well on the side, apart from you being able to select from the butchery and getting your selected meats uh, cooked for the lunch time. They also have all day preset menu and then also a uh, dinner preset menu. So the dinner menu is a lot more extensive in terms of the steak selection. Wow, this flat iron steak is so tender. I'm gonna guess like, because the <laughs> The beefy flavour is very strong. That's why they actually use the Paris butter to like kind of soften, soften that note. Moving on yes, to... To the US Prime Corn-Fed Sirloin Steak. Yes, you got it! So yeah, US grading, uh, when, oh, when yeah. they say prime, that mm. basically refers to those with higher fat percentage. Mm. It's a lot juicier definitely. It tastes like a very typical good prime sirloin. <laughs> The sirloins I've eaten in my life are probably not as prime. I don't know if it's biased for me to pick the flat iron stick because there was this added lovely flavour of their Paris butter. $19 for this like it's around steel, 200 gram. Yeah, it's really such a steal. Like, oh my gosh. I would recommend this to my friends. It's like a 5 out of 5. I don't have any like qualms with this place. Like when I think about other places that I've rated, I'll think about like, mm, something fell flat, but when I tried both steaks, then I like the ambiance. I'm like, mm, yeah, and the price is great too, so 5 out of 5. <laughs> so, I would give uh, Huber's Bistro a 4.5. I mean, I've only tried like the mainstay of the menu, and for the price, really decent, but I'm sweating like crazy here. <laughs> so, not, not as big a fan as El Fresco. <laughs> As but there's like indoor dining Erica. also, there's air conditioning. It's, uh, it's a, bit, a bit like uh, cozy for my comforts. Although they, they have like a huge a variety of meats, right? It's super fresh. Uh, you can find whatever cuts you can imagine. So that, that is definitely a super big plus point. Um, then my small qualm is with the cooking. So it's like a very basic like grill. Like for the price that you're paying and all, uh, this is what I would expect. So this is why I would give it a 4 one 5 so we're done here at Hoobers. Let's take us out of here. All right, everybody. We're here at Laurie's The Prime Rib at Mandarin Gallery. It was found by the late uh, Lawrence Frank and Mr. Walter Van de Kamp. They believe that um, customers deserved top quality food and service. And Lawrence was actually the one who designed the first silver cart. Uh, it was a famous silver cart because he wanted the beef to be carved by the table side. And also the first silver cart was made in 1938 and it cost almost the same as a Cadillac which was how much again? 30,000 USD. So the yes? same silver carts are still being used in, in here in Singapore uh, as the ones in Beverly Hills. So of course today we're gonna <laughs> try the signature uh, USDA Prime Roast Rib. Uh, as mentioned by the chef, this is actually slow roasted for 3.5 uh, hours. Three and a half hours. Depending on the cut, so if you want a smaller cut, it is $80. Honestly, it reminds me of my dad's beef caloretta. 
If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a Pinoy dish. Super tender, but does not have as much grilling or searing the steak. And we are also going to try a different cut, which is the Snake River... The Snake Rivers Farm Flat Iron Steak. Yes, the Flat Iron Steak. <gasps> Let's try the Snake River Farms Wagyu flat iron. flat iron. I'm actually very excited about this. Love it. Yeah, Just look I at how red the meat is. You were saying it's $130. Yeah, but this looks like a 200 gram ish yeah. uh, 200 gram steak. Look at all the marbling inside. So when I first bit into it, like the rosemary just kicked me in the face. I was so strong. But after a while it disappeared. And then I slowly started to taste the steak a bit more. I don't think it's bad, but I'm not. I can love it. By it either. You it's love like it? it's like my favorite steak. You I find it like it has a lot more flavor and um, the, the oil the oil really coats inside. But after you swallow, like you still get the lingering beefiness. Okay, mm. I think the only thing missing for me is like it doesn't have like you know like the seared, uh, yeah, like, like charred like yeah. crust that mm. I like. It, it's like super fat for a flat iron uh, because it's you know full, full blooded wagyu. I give Lori's the prime rib. Um, 3.5 out of 5. These kind of steaks like didn't really impress me. More like towards a home cooked meal and doesn't feel like an $80 cut. I was gonna go with a 3.5, but I think after I had this steak, this brought it up like oh to a 4. God. The prime rib is alright, uh, but on this uh, flat iron, it's very impressive and I will give it a 4. So the service at Laurie's is, uh, is pretty top notch. You get like a pretty interesting show that's like, mm. you know. Yeah, French, like the, the French, French maids made. like serving you food <laughs> out of like a huge so silver, the waitress silver is wearing, cart yeah. or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, but definitely the, the highlight for me was this particular steak. Okay, so this is the last place and now we're gonna pick our favorite of the day. So we've come to the end of our steak journey and it is time to pick our favorite steaks. So because every place we tried a different kind of steak, so we've decided that we're going to choose our favorite steak of the day. So Seth, what was your own? First one would be the skirt steak from Skirt from W Singapore. <laughs> the second one would be the Snake River Farms flat iron steak. Yes, and that is from Laurie's. Uh, very surprising even for myself. So then, uh, for me, I'm gonna call this as answer. My number one favorite in terms of flavor for today was definitely the skirt steak at Skirt at W Singapore. And the second favorite would be the flat iron steak at Hooper's. I like I like my flat iron steak more. Flat it's rich in flavor, uh, it has more fat. Yeah, the marbling was insane. Definitely superior flat iron steak to your flat iron. But oh you know. My God to each uh, your own. So it's a preference thing in the end uh, for any kind of steak, any kind of food. So, you know, really just go with whatever you like. Mm. So now that we've chosen our two favorite steaks of the day, we're gonna answer some of your burning questions that you've had for us so far. I think the most popular question that we get is why didn't you go to XXX place <laughs> instead of, yeah. you know, where you have in your video. Uh, so the first thing is uh, how we actually choose the places. We would shortlist uh, a large number of places, but then we would contact each of the uh, the owners or the founders. We actually need um, some kind of approval, and you know, depending on who gets back to us, and this is actually how we would land uh, on visiting wherever that we are featuring. The other question about three so hosts. You wanna, yeah, you wanna answer that about <laughs> the three hosts thing. So I did ask them, why not? I don't mind doing um three hosts one day. Uh, I think that's really cool, really interesting, and I think it'll be fun. But um, it's a bit difficult right now. Um, but we're not 100% crossing it out. Maybe you can expect to see it sometime in the future. That's pretty much it. Uh, we've answered uh, the common questions throughout. Yep. If all you have the any more, <laughs> uh, any more questions, of course, leave it in the comments. Uh, if you have any more recommendations, what you want us to do next, just simply comment below in our video. All right. See you next time. Bye.